square roots and rational numbers. This one should be quick. Perfect squares are numbers like 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49. Next one, 64. Because they're what you get when you multiply 1 times 1, 2 times 2, four, 3 times 3, 4 times 4, 5 times 5, 6 times 6, and 7 times 7. And for 64, 8 times 8. Square roots are the number that times itself is equal to the original number. So the square root of 1 is 1 of 4 is 2, of 9 is 3, of 16 is 4, and so on. The way that you go ahead and denote a square root is that you want to figure out the square root of something is by looking at this symbol here. This is called a radical. And that means take the square root of whatever's in here. So for example here, this would be take the square root of 4, which in this case would be 2. That would be how you'd simplify that. It is possible to figure out the square root of any positive number just usually they're messy, not like the perfect squares. Now, if you look here at this box, there are a whole lot of numbers that we normally work with that are in this big circle. Then there are rational numbers, which we're just starting to work with. Uh, the one that we worked with first is pi. Now we're going to work with a few more. Now, rational numbers never, ever stop going on, uh, but they never repeat. So they're um, not like uh, one of those fractions that you can uh, convert to a decimal with a vinculum over it. So when we just started uh, working with the most famous uh, one, and that was pi, any square root of a non-perfect square is irrational. And remember, rational numbers are just numbers that can be represented as a fraction. So if you understand what we just went over, it's really easy, especially if you can find this button on the calculator. So finding the roots of perfect squares, all you do is you simplify. And you go ahead and you say, OK, well, you know what? What is the square root of 9? The square root of 9 is going to be, what is it? The square root of 9 is going to be, well, it's 3. Because 3 times 3 equals 9. Right? Don't even need to write that down. But 3 times 3 equals 9. So, so that's why it's the square root over here. What's the square root of 10, of 100, excuse me? So that's 10 times 10. So the square root of 100 is 10. Now, these are a funky um, set of fruit called watermelon, but they've made them square by growing them in a particular way. So if you have a square watermelon like this, like the ones in the picture, and each side is 144 inches square, so each side here, this area right here, it's 144 inches squared. How long are each side? Well, it's going to be, well, a square has a side, only one side. So it's just, take the square root of that. So it's just going to be 12 inches. It's going to be the value of the, um, of the side of the watermelon. Now, estimating square roots, if you don't have a calculator, you probably will most of the time. But if you estimate a square root, uh, you can do that pretty easily as well. So all you have to do is say, try and remember what the perfect squares are. So for 13, what's the square root of 13. And all I figure out, well, that's, well, 13 is sort of like the square root of 16. It's between that and the square root of 9. So it's somewhere between 3 and 4, because that's the square root of uh, 3 and 4 because 4 is the square root of 16, 9 is the square root of 3. 37, same thing. All you're going to do is square root of, of uh, square root of 30, well, what's, what's the next perfect square that's next to there? Well, it would be, the square root would be 36. That's the perfect square. So if we have the square root of 36, that's going to be just 6. And what's the one that's above there? It's going to be 7 because it's 49, because this is 36 between 36 and 49. So if you identify each number as rational or irrational, all you have to do to figure out if something is rational is say, does it end if it's a decimal, or does it continue to repeat if it's a decimal? If it ends, well, this is just 13 tenths. This over here is going to be, well, let me think here. This is 2 and 5 ninths which would be equal to, well, that's 18, 23 ninths. This one here is already a fraction, but you can do negative ones as well. So this is negative 7 fourths.
And this here is the square root of 3. Is 3 a perfect square? No, it's not. It's between 4 and 1. So this is going to be an irrational number. This one here, though, you've got to pay attention. This one here, if you take the square root of it, it is going to be 7. So not all things with radicals are irrational. Some of them are rational, and sometimes you mess up on that. There.